Good morning children. We proceed on to exercise 5.1 based on functions. Question number 1. Determine odd or even functions. Given a power x minus 1 by a power x plus 1. Wherever x is coming, let us put minus x. If I get the same function again, I call it even. If the sign changes, it is odd. But if I don't get either f of x or minus f of x, then we will declare it is neither even nor odd. So, in this problem, let us find out f of minus x. So, wherever x is coming, a power minus x minus 1 by a power minus x plus 1. My next step. a power minus x can be written as 1 by a power x. Similarly, denominator also 1 by a power x plus 1. We have just put x as minus x. If the power is negative, we write reciprocal. Take LCM. 1 minus a power x by a power x by down. Also, 1 plus a power x by a power x. Cancelling the denominator, I am left with 1 minus a power x by 1 plus a power x. Look at the question. Denominator a power x plus 1, it is the same. But what about the numerator? Here I have a power x minus 1. Whereas here I have 1 minus a power x. How shall I rewrite it? Taking minus symbol out. It is a power x minus 1 by a power x plus 1. It is nothing but minus f of x. The same here but there is a minus symbol. So we declare f of x is an odd function. So when do you call it as an odd function? Whenever f of minus x is minus f of x, we declare the function to be odd. Second subdivision f of x equals log x square plus root of x square plus 1 f of minus x log of minus x the whole square plus root of minus x the whole square plus 1 we do not alter plus 1 root log all that we only change plus x as minus x the next step as I simplify Minus x the whole square is x square. Minus x the whole square is x square plus 1. We started with f of minus x. But this is the given problem that is f of x. So we get f of minus x equal to f of x implies f of x is an even function. What is the formula for even function? Wherever x is coming, I put minus x. My answer is not altered. Mostly, x power even comes in the question. It will be definitely an even function only. Third subdivision, f of x is equal to sin x plus cos x. f of minus x is sin of minus x plus cos of minus x. Where is minus x? Minus x is in fourth quadrant. Remember the quadrant rule which we learnt in trigonometry. If I go anticlockwise, it is plus theta where all the ratios are positive. If I go clockwise, it is minus theta. We are in fourth quadrant where only cos and secant are positive. So, how do I rewrite this? Sin of minus x becomes minus sin x because sin is negative in the fourth quadrant. But 
cos of minus x is only cos x as cos x is positive in the fourth quadrant. Now, look at f of x and f of minus x. It is not the same. The sign also has not changed entirely. So, this implies f of x is not equal to f of minus x. f of x is not equal to minus f of x also. Because if it is f of x, this should be positive. If it is minus f of x, this also should be negative. But it is not so. So, we will declare f of x is neither even nor odd. So, there are problems which are only even, which are only odd, which are neither even nor odd also. Fifth subdivision, f of x equals x plus x squared. As we change x to be minus x, x becomes minus x plus minus x the whole square. I get minus x minus square is positive only. Same as the previous problem. Here x plus x square. Here 1 is negative, 1 is positive. It is not equal. Also it is not equal to minus of that. So here also we will declare f of x is neither even nor odd. So generally if a problem contains only powers of x to be even, we will declare even functions. x power 4 even, x power 14 even, x power 140 even. So these are even powers tell us it is even function. But if it is x power 3, it is odd. So this is odd function x power 13 is an odd function, x power 1 is an odd function, x power 17 is an odd function. So, when x power is even, it is even, when x power is odd, it is odd. But, if it is combination of both odd power as well as even power, then we will declare neither even nor odd and hence the problem. Fourth subdivision f of x equals x square minus mod x. Let us remember mod x is x if x is positive minus x if x is negative. Let us find out f of minus x. x will become minus x the whole square minus modulus of minus x. My answer x square minus mod x only. In modulus, even if minus comes, I will change it as plus only. So, I get the same. Since f of minus x is f of x, we declare f of x is an even function. Question number 2, f of x equals x cube minus k x square plus 2x where x is a real number. Find k if f is an odd function. Let us remember f of minus x equals to minus f of x if f is odd. Here it is declared to be odd. That tells us f of minus x and minus f of x are equal. Let us find out f of minus x. Wherever x is coming, we put as minus x. We get minus x cube. This is plus only minus kx square minus 2x. So, this is f of minus x. The odd function tells f of minus x equals minus f of x. So, what is f of minus x? Minus x cube minus kx square minus 2x equals. Change the symbol because I want minus f of x. So, minus x cube plus kx square minus 2x. 
left and right I can cancel minus x cube term. Left and right I can cancel minus 2x terms. I am left with minus kx square. Here kx square. This tells us kx square plus kx square equals to 0 or kx square into 2 equal to 0 or k equals 0. The question is find k. So we have found out k value to be 0.